So we keep hearing about how American workers supposedly are lazy and they don't want to work. Lots of elites in particular are saying this. Notice how American workers aren't saying this because they know how hard that they work. But we're hearing this on Fox News. Janine Pirro said this a couple of weeks ago. Kim Kardashian said it a month or two ago. Nobody wants to work in this country. They're lazy. Elon Musk is now joining the chorus of elitists saying that Americans who are exploited, overworked and underpaid, they don't want to work at all. So he was talking about potential competitors to Tesla, and he zeroed in on the Chinese market, and he decided to take a random dig at American workers, which is just bizarre considering his workers made him the richest man on the planet. But here's what he said. I think there will be some very strong companies coming out of China. There is just a lot of super talented, hardworking people in China who strongly believe in manufacturing. He added, they won't just be burning the midnight oil. They will be burning the 3 a.m. oil. They won't even leave the factory type of thing. Whereas in America, people are trying to avoid going to work at all. So first of all, it's not a good thing that Chinese workers are being worked to death at the behest of their corporate overlords. Second of all, you really have a lot of nerve, like the audacity of Elon Musk to claim that the workers who made him the richest man on the planet, they're just not doing enough. Yes, I'm the richest man to have ever lived, and it's still not enough. You could be making me more money. You could be working even harder. I mean, when will it be enough? And the answer is, it'll never be enough. It'll never be enough. Now, people's work ethic, it's going to vary, right? Every person is different. But for the most part, human beings are hard workers. The same is true in America. The same is true in China. But like Chinese workers, American workers are also exploited. It's worse in China currently. But I mean, they all have this relationship that is exploitative and abusive with their employer. And they can't get out. They're locked in. And this employer controls their life. Because if you quit, then how do you feed yourself? How do you house yourself? So they don't have a say in the matter. So these companies, they take advantage of these workers and they work them to death, literally in many instances. And Elon Musk is saying, mm, it's just not enough. I like the way that workers are even more exploited in China. It's just, it's gross. This is capitalism. It's perverted, right? Capitalists have ravaged the planet. They've killed democracy in the united states and they've commodified every single aspect of our lives but understand how they will never be satisfied they will never satiate their thirst for profits and wealth it just keeps going and even when you've bled your workers dry even when you've bled americans dry you still demand more even though they're overworked and underpaid and productivity has increased while worker wages have, have stagnated it's still not enough. Elites like Kim Kardashian and Elon Musk criticize workers. I mean, capitalism is a ruthless and barbaric system. And if we don't kill this economic system, it will kill all of us. Literally. Literally. Now, he's praising a system in China where workers oftentimes deal with worse situations than we see in America. As this 2011 article from the Daily Mail points out, an Apple manufacturing company, Foxconn, had to put up suicide nets at their factories after more than a dozen workers committed suicide due to horrific workplace conditions. And that article is old, but still workers in China are being exploited because they don't have a choice, not because they're virtuous and they enjoy just spending all of their waking hours at work. It's because they don't have a choice in the matter. A 2021 report from BBC explains, according to China's labor laws, a standard workday is eight hours long with a maximum of 44 hours a week. Any work beyond that requires extra pay or overtime, but this has not been well enforced. In many of the country's biggest firms, particularly in the thriving tech sector, employees often work far longer hours and and are not always compensated. Employees have grumbled about their brutal schedules over the years, and some have even tried to fight back. In 2019, a group of programmers made headlines when they launched a campaign on code-sharing platform GitHub, blacklisting startups that overworked staff from using their open-source code. Yet, grueling 996 culture has carried on with the government taking a hands-off approach. After all, this same work ethic has also been credited as the driver of success for these firms, some of which have since become incredibly prominent on the world stage. Like Mr. Ma, who founded online retail giant Alibaba, e-commerce platform JD.com chief Richard Liu has previously defended this culture, hitting out at slackers. Now, Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, who became rich by exploiting his workers, claims that if you're part of this 996 culture, then it's really a blessing. Now, 996 culture means that you work uh, six days a week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., meaning the overwhelming majority of the time you're working. 
that is a nightmare scenario. That is a nightmare. Now, this happens in the United States as well. Some workers at the Nabisco factory talked about how they haven't had a day off in months. But this is not something to be celebrated. This doesn't speak to the virtuous work ethic of workers in America or China. It shows that these companies are so ruthless, they don't care if they literally work their workers to death. Now, maybe things will start to change. The government has had to crack down because there's been a lot of backlash due to these really exploitative work practices. And, you know, the government hasn't done much. Again, it hasn't really been enforced. They've reminded these companies that what they're doing is illegal. So we'll have to wait and see if anything actually changes. But really, if it's going to change, it be, it's because the situation has essentially reached a tipping point. And workers, they literally can't take it anymore. Earlier this year, two employees at e-commerce platform Pinduoduo died weeks apart. A young worker collapsed on the way home after working long hours, while another died by suicide. And in January, a food delivery driver set himself on fire after he was allegedly denied $770 in overdue wages just one month after a worker had died while delivering meals for online platform Ely.me. And for many workers who are pulling in longer hours than ever amid the pandemic, enough was enough. Quote, I am so tired. I can't remember when I last saw daylight. Meanwhile, big companies are just getting richer. How is this fair? One user wrote on microblogging platform Weibo. So these companies are getting filthy, filthy rich. The heads of these companies are richer than any other human beings. And yet they claim that, oh, this is wonderful. It's a blessing if you're being worked to death and you're miserable. Elon Musk says, well, you know, because they don't want to work themselves to death in America, they must not want to work at all. It shows you how out of touch they are. And, you know, somebody who says something like this, this elitist, this despicable about the peasants, they should never be allowed to show their face in public again without being heckled and shamed and pointed and laughed at. But yet Elon Musk has so many simps. This is a uh, worshiped in America because our capitalist mindset has deluded us into thinking that if we just work hard enough, we can be as rich as him. So why deride someone like Elon Musk when I could be the next Elon Musk? Newsflash for you, you're not going to be the next Elon Musk. There's a higher statistical likelihood that you will be hit by lightning or are bitten by a shark or eaten by a shark, actually, then you'll become a billionaire. It's not going to happen. Just because it happened to him doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. We live in a late-stage capitalist dystopian hellscape. We are working ourselves to the bones. You're working every single day for a job that you hate, for not enough money to even pay the bills, and these assholes are saying you're not working enough. Imagine that. Imagine that. The audacity of these elites to not just say that it's wonderful to work yourselves to death, but it's also bad if you're against it. You're lazy. You don't want to work if you're against this level of exploitation. This is why international worker solidarity is very important because the struggle is consistent everywhere. What workers in China are dealing with is the same thing that workers in America are dealing with, in Canada, in Mexico, in Peru, in India. I mean, the worker struggle is something that is common. So, you know, if all of these people understand and recognize that there are more of them than there are of these elites, then maybe things would actually change. But until then, they're going to keep talking down to you as you make them rich. Think about that. And yet they have many simps who will brigade this video and defend him. It's truly just a gross society that we live in. But, you know, capitalism it's a virus that doesn't just like crush our institutions. It doesn't just uh, make every single element of our lives a commodified venture. It also warps a lot of people's brains. In essence, it's a cult. And until we choose to leave this cult, this is going to be what we have to look forward to. Nonstop misery and suffering at the behest of these uh, employers who want to get rich off of our suffering.